Hi, I'm Elise from the Cause Bond Workshop. Now that all our armor is together, in this video I can show you how I added all of the details. I first started by laying out my scale pattern with permanent marker. Make sure to include details like straps in your layout. I made sure to leave some space between the scales for the soldering iron. Now that our layout is done, we can begin soldering our scales. Make sure to test soldering scales on some scrap to ensure that you like your pattern. It is highly toxic to solder foam, so absolutely wear a mask. Once we have all of our scales soldered, we can begin adding our foam leather edges and any other foam details. I cut these long strips out with Cosbon attach and build on the back. This made attaching them all quicker because this costume just has so many straps. The extra pieces were patterned, cut out, and cause bonded as well. To make all the foam spikes on her armor, I patterned out my pieces and then sanded the edges to round them to have them look a little more organic. I used Cosbon Attach and Build to stick these spikes to the armor. All of the screw details are googly eyes that I stuck right to the foam. To make the triangle details on the leg, I cut out two sides of each triangle and angled my box cutter on the sides that would be attached. The angle would allow them to be 3D the way they are on Astrid's armor. After I used Cosbon Attach and Build to attach all the triangles, I started making the little skulls on Astrid's skirt with the two-part epoxy. I referenced a printout of her armor to sculpt the skulls. Once they were dry, I traced them onto Cosbon Attach and Build peeled off the release paper, and stuck them to the armor skirt. Now that we have all of our details and our armor, in the next video, we can seal and paint them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.